Hi, in this video, I'm going to take you through the new AbbeyCAD 2025. We'll be going through the primary features of the program, and then I'll go through a few of the new features that you're going to find. As you may know, AbbeyCAD comes with four major components. The first component is MechQ, and MechQ is already integrated into the ribbon, nothing to install. The program also comes with a brand new updated 3D architectural module which I'll show you briefly today. In the add-ons tab, you'll also receive the 3D PDF export along with a bunch of other utilities, including the iCAD library, which contains over 20,000 blocks, architectural, electrical, and mechanical. You'll also notice that there are tooltips now in this new release. So as you hover over different items, let's just go into the 3D tools and we'll come down and hover over some of these. It's going to give you a preview first, and then it's going to give you an expanded view if you continue to hold your mouse over that item. Epicad allows you to import various file types including uh, BIM files, which is brand new in this version. Also allows you to export in various ways, including uh, step files, IGS files, and many others. You'll notice a few new utilities in the 3D tool menu, including the ability to project lines, circles, and ellipses onto a three-dimensional solid or surface. And the Express Tools menu, You'll notice a couple new tools over here, the quick trim and the intersection break utility, along with the ability to change the base point of a block after the block has been inserted. And when you do this, it won't move your block. It will just update the actual base point of the block. Another really nice feature that we've added in at 2025 is the ability to create your own dynamic blocks. Now these blocks can be read by AutoCAD and also imported from AutoCAD. Let me show you the block editor. This is where you're going to be creating your dynamic blocks. Essentially, you're going to have similar AutoCAD tools like different action parameters, different visibility states, and so forth. And just as you saw there, I pulled in an AutoCAD dynamic block and it automatically converted that for us. But as I said, in this version, you can actually create your own dynamic blocks from scratch. Let me show you a few things in the 3D architectural utility. I'll start with the style manager. So in here, you can import different families based on where you're located. We've got both metric and imperial families. Then in the styles manager, you can define the different dimensions, design rules, and materials for each of these elements here. I'm looking at the door menu, but there's various ways to customize wall, window door assemblies, curtain walls, even the concrete slabs, windows, window treatments, stairs, and railings. Without spending too much time on this, I'm going to do a separate video on this utility. I just wanted to take you through some basics. Let's start here by just doing a wall. There's several different kinds of walls here. Let's just do a exterior wall. We can change the justification of the wall. Let's go left with this one. And it's just really a matter of just defining the points. And as you go, it auto trims the wall. I type C for close, and then we'll just close this whole wall up. And then a real nice feature is the ability to modify these walls in that you get various grip points in order to manipulate, to allow you to stretch the walls in different directions, and then adding walls into existing walls is quite easy. If we wanted to create a, a window, we can go into the 3D and it automatically creates the height for us. And just as easy as selecting the wall and then placing the window, as you can see, we've got our dynamic values there that we can tab into. And let's say five feet from the corner, 
that would place that window in. And then when we shade it, it uh, creates a hole there for us as well. There's also a really nice stair utility, different stairs, concrete stairs, and still stairs. Let me just draw a stair in here for you. We can use our arrow key to change the height. We'll just change it to eight feet and finish our stair out. Easy to use, very intuitive. And let me just show you uh, the railings real quick. So just a matter of specifying the start point and end point. It's really as simple as that. We can actually come back here though into the properties palette. And this goes with all these 3D objects and modify the things on the fly. That's just a little taste of the AEC utility, which I think is one of the highlights of 2025. Along with these utilities, another huge improvement to 2025 is speed. You'll be able to notice the drawings loading a lot quicker and a more responsive experience overall. Hope this video is giving you a good preview of what's inside 2025. If you have any questions, you can call us directly at 888-271-7121. And we hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.